Hey guys, Norman McGregor on Isles of Hideaway for our island adventure. All right, solar panel install, second part. We can see solar panels up in the roof, it's a sunny day, and I finally got everything connected and installed to get us to the point where we've got a good off-grid backup system. So let's take a look and see what we've got. Okay, so on the roof what I've got is I've got two strings of three. The top row is one string, the bottom row is the second string. What those are done is they are, the panels are wired in series, bringing up to over 80 volts. And the two panels are then uh, put into parallel. So what we're going to do is we're going to have two strings of 80 volts. So let's see how that works. You can see the big thick wire coming off there. That's eight gauge wire coming down, goes all the way down into the basement. So uh, let's go down there and see what we've done. Okay guys, so as I said, on the roof I've got two strings of three panels. And what I've done is this is a midnight solar combiner box. And what I've done is I've got each string on their own independent breaker. And it's actually a good it's a disconnect and breaker. So two 15 amp circuits, and uh, they combine in here into one. So that's where we join them together. Then we got a nice thick 10 or a 10 gauge coming down. Okay, because we're very high voltage right now. We're 80 volts, and we go into Xantrax uh, 6150 charge controller. So right now, this is September 1st, the first day of fall, and we've got a partially cloudy sky, not uh, extremely bad, but right now I'm pulling in 777 watts, and I've got, okay, that's at, uh, my voltage, my battery voltage, 24 volt system is at 27.5. So from there, that goes down and the positive is wired to the shunt, which takes me down to the batteries. Goes way down here. Okay, so I got my little battery container down here. And what I've got is I've got four L16 390 amp hour batteries. Now these are 6 volt, they are wired in series, giving me 24 volt battery bank. I've got my Magnum Energy uh, temperature sensor and my Xantrex temperature sensor, so that both of these systems can monitor the battery system and keep it regulated based on the temperature. Now I've got the cover on top, so that if somebody comes down the basement, I'm not going to drop junk on top of it. Okay, from there we've got, uh, this is really bad because Deb's got a wood project happening here, so it's kind of in the way, but there's my inverter battery disconnect, and there's also a solar disconnect down there too. All right, from there that gets wired up into the Magnum. 4024 PAE inverter. This is an awesome inverter. It's a 4 kilowatt inverter with a 5.8 kilowatt surge. Very, very nice. Perfect for off grid. And it is controlled by the Magnum Energy charge controller. Or controller. So, as you can see, my batteries are now at 82%. And it's just after noon. So, uh, it's going to be a. Oh, just went to 83%, so it's moving up. So then what we've got is I've got, now this is not finished yet, but I've got it wired down into my temporary sub-panel. And in the sub-panel, this is what I'm going to be putting in all the circuits for the, um, all the circuits in the house that I want to run are all going to be based in here. And what I've done temporarily is I've got it wired into one external plug, which if we had a power out, I could actually plug in the fridge, plug in the freezer, TV, whatever we want to run. And uh, 
as soon as I can get off island, get some wire, get some receptacles, then I'm going to be wiring the rest of the circuits upstairs. But for right now, we've got emergency backup power. So, that's very cool. All right, guys. So, like I said, in the basement, uh, I've got some more work to do. I got, but I got to get off island and get some supplies. So I got to get some wire receptacles, things like that, so I can wire in some extra circuits, so that we can have a total backup system off grid. But right now, we've got uh, 1.4 kilowatts coming off the roof. I got a 4 kilowatt inverter. I got 400 amp hours of battery storage. That should give me two days of critical loads for fridge and freezer, some lighting. And uh, that should be good for now, but uh, we're going to make it really, really uh, simple in the future. We'll, so we'll have no cords or anything, just plug it in. All right, guys, Norm McGregor's on Nazla Hideaway for our own adventure. Take care.